Hello, trucking friends. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday night. It was a glorious day here in Wisconsin. We had beautiful weather. The sun was out. It was warm. It was a whole whopping, you know, like 72 degrees. <laughs> So it was a heat wave in Wisconsin today. Hey there, Carol. Welcome to our Chuck Kim party. And Kim and Verge. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Oh, I need some chalk and therapy. <laughs> I totally need chalk and therapy today. It's been a very, very long day. Um, so I cannot wait to make this transfer because I thought you were college orientation and we wouldn't be seeing you tonight. Jennifer, I was at college orientation today, but he... I'm very fortunate he's only going to college an hour away. So I'm back home already. Um, so I'm really, really lucky. It was a really nice day, although I, you know, they separate you from your kid. You don't get to see him all day, but that's okay. He had a great day, his classes are all scheduled. He is good to go. Hey Jan, welcome to our trucking party. So tonight we are going to make a super fun gift This will, this will be the night he watches, too. <laughs> you know how that goes, where <laughs> the one night you don't want him to watch will be the night he pops on. So, um, Father's Day is Sunday, right? And uh, I'm kind of thinking about this in my head, trying to make this one, and it's the apple pie transfer. So I'm going to show you this really cool transfer. But before I do that, I am making Maria your independent Chuck Couture designer. Chuck Couture is an amazing company that makes adhesive silkscreen transfers. And we you can reuse them over and over again and we use them with Chuckology paste and Chuckology, or Chuck, see I can't even say the word anymore. It's Chuckology paste and Couture ink. Um, we make surfaces, we do accessories. It's so, so, so much fun. It is so easy, it is stress-free, it is like, the best therapy. So by the end of this little project, I'm going to be all rejuvenated. I'm going to be all relaxed. I'm going to be, you know, good to go. So let's, let me show you what I am talking about here tonight. So this is the apple pie transfer. And this is a ginormous transfer. This is an E size. So look at that pretty apple pie. Isn't that pretty? And then it has the recipe. So I can't... I can only speak to my experiences, um, but there seems to have been a recipe transfer every season. Um, there was a sugar cookie one, there was a pumpkin pie one, there's this one, it wasn't pumpkin pie. There's been several recipe transfers, so it seems to be pretty popular, <laughs> a recipe transfer. This is the first one I've actually purchased, and I do have to say I've totally kicked myself, I'm gonna tell you how many times, that I did not buy the sugar cookie one because it had a really cool like KitchenAid like mixer on it. It was a really, really cool transfer. So I do kick myself often, it's now retired, that I did not buy that one. Um, but this is super cute. So it has the recipe. Um, it We're not gonna use this part, but it's really cute. I think if you had the farmhouse kitchen, this is an E size, so it's big, it's 24 by 18, um, but it's got, you know some nice pieces to it and we are doing apple pie now that seems like kind of a strange thing to make your husband for father's day right <laughs> it is a strange thing to make your husband for father's day but my husband is the apple pie king he makes the most amazing apple pie you will ever eat in your whole life um so i thought it would be super cute to make him an apple pie sign that he can put it in his little workshop that's next to me um or i could find a place in my house to put i don't know where i put it in my house but I thought it'd be cute in his workshop. Hey, Connie. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Mary. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Apple pie, Jennifer says, question mark, but, or exclamation point. But I am a pumpkin spice kind of gal myself. Pumpkin spice latte. That's a really cute transfer that was out there last, um, in the Halloween season, in the fall season. We had a really cute pumpkin uh, spice, pump, pumpkin spice latte transfer. I can talk. There's another one of these that's strawberry jam. That's really cute too. That's a smaller transfer. That's a C size transfer. But we are making this for my amazing husband. And I was going to do just the apple pie. And then I pulled out my, you know, the one we used the other day, the farmhouse 
which apparently has something stuck under it. <laughs> the farmhouse kitchen one. So I thought we would do apple pie made with love. Um, we don't need fresh jelly because he doesn't make a fresh jelly. But I thought we would do apple pie made with love. Um, when he makes apple pie, he makes like four of them at a time. And they don't last very long in my house. In fact, some of my children request apple pie for their birthday instead of birthday cake. He makes such good apple pie. So I have this chalkboard, which is one option. I need to, and I wasn't really thinking we necessarily needed these. We could just do apple pie made with love and not this. Or we could do this. I'm not sure about these. What do you guys think about these little, I'm sure it's supposed to be like a table runner or a tablecloth, but it kind of looks to me like wings <laughs> on my apple pie. Like my apple pie is going for a flight. Um, so what do you think of the wings? Should we skip the wings or do the wings? I'm going to try to, you know what? I'm going to move me. Let's move me. I'm going to edit this and move me to the other corner because it seems to be that, oops, sorry. There we go. Let's move me to the other corner so then you can see. I tend to lean in this corner and then my little head blocks you. Okay, so I, I, the question is wings or no wings? Cheryl says without those. Virginia says just the pie. Okay, see, I kind of agree. I think if we were doing the whole thing, it's really cute together. Um, and we could put some apples. We could put this, I mean, we could put some of the embellishments that are on here, on here as well. Um, ooh, Jennifer likes the banners. But what are they? <laughs> That's really the big question, is what are they? Okay, so I have this board. This is a square board, it's 14 by 14. So it's a nice size board. So that's one option. And my other option is this bigger board. He's not a galvanized guy at all. I do have to say, I have learned that about him. He's, and it doesn't really fit with the maze. So, okay, the square board wins. We're gonna do the square board. But this square board is not a very high quality chalkboard, so I am going to have to wax it. Just because my transfers will take a beating on this thing. Um, this is one of those not uh, super high quality. I bought a ton of them. Um, they're nice truck boards, and they're, I, I can't even get the plastic off of this silly thing. They're really nice truck boards, you know, for a one and done type deal where you're going to make it, you're never going to wash it off, you're never going to do anything with it other than leave it alone. Um, if you're going to do any kind of, you know, washing or possible reusing, I would not use these personally. Okay, so I'm going to wipe it down because, again, these are not, I mean, I, I want to say this is a $5 chalkboard that I probably didn't even pay 5 bucks for. Um, but I love their size, and I've used these chalkboards quite a bit. Um, but to go in his little workshop, it's perfect, I think. I was going to have the kids make him this for Father's Day, but in usual fashion, I ran out of time. <laughs> So now I'm making it for him. Okay, so I'm gonna wax it. Waxing is not a big deal. What waxing is, is you buy a paste wax, and anytime you're gonna put your transfers on something that is wood or not a chalk couture chalkboard, I recommend waxing. All it does is it provides a layer of a barrier between your transfer and the surface, so your transfer, again, doesn't have to work as hard, and um, there's less likelihood of pulling things up from the surface that you're using. Waxing is an extremely important step when you're doing um, wood, especially. Hey Bree, welcome to our truck and party. So all you do is you take a rag and keep this rag as your waxing rag. And you just put the wax on. See how you can see it? I'm gonna rub it on and then I'm gonna leave it on for a minute while we pick our colors. And then I'm gonna just buff it off. Super easy. You can tell when you put too much wax on because your transfer won't stick. Or if you haven't buffed it enough, you'll know. Because, um, I mean, it, that's the purpose, right? Is to not have your transfer stick as hard. So you'll know because it won't stick at all. Or it will stick hardly at all. So I'm just waxing away. Getting some good wax on here. Um, Carol says leave them off. Okay, so I've got three votes for no wings. So I'm skipping the wings. Just plus I think it'll also fit on here better. Okay, so I just um, put my wax in and I'm just gonna set it aside for a minute. 
and let it kind of soak in a little bit. Now, this is a huge wax container. I have used this wax. This is the very first wax container I ever bought. I've waxed a lot of things, um, and I've been doing this for almost, almost a year. Almost a year. So you don't need a big, ginormous thing like this. And this isn't super expensive. I don't even remember what I paid for it. That's how long ago. However, the company... Chuck Couture does sell these super cute little chopsticks. <laughs> don't put them on your, don't put it on your lips though. <laughs> so this is really nice for um, like little projects, your projects. You don't need a big thing of wax. And it's like a chapstick. You open it up, you rub it on your uh, project and buff it off. The same concept. Um, so we're going to do this really cute little apple pie. We're going to put made with love. We're not going to do the wings. And I'm struggling with a color. Like, should we do hot mess where maybe we do like, where should we, oh, maybe we should do fawn and then we should, cause that would be kind of a, you know, a crust. I'll open this so you can see it. Do, when do the new fall and Christmas transfers come out? So Carol, so this is fun while we're talking. This is fun. I think this is a good crust color. Hey Lisa, welcome to our chocolate party. So Carol, um, July 1st is our first wave of um, new transfers that are coming. So when I go to ChalkCon, the Chalk Couture Convention, you know, like 13, 12 days and counting. Not that I'm counting, but of course I'm counting because I cannot wait. Tomorrow I might start packing my suitcase. <laughs> I heard today about, you know, well, anyways, I'm digressing. I can't wait to go to ChalkCon. But when we go to ChalkCon, Carol, we will uh, at that point get the new catalog and be able to see the new transfers coming out and they come out on July 1st. So they come out like the Monday I come home from the convention. That's our first wave. And that's really the fall winter transfers. And they do tend to be more fall and winter versus holiday. Um, I'm curious to see what they do this year. If we get more holiday earlier, um, cause those of us that make signs for like crackers and things like that, you really need those trans, I need those transfers like now. Cause I, I start making that stuff now. Um, and then in late August, September, somewhere in there, then the Celebrations catalog comes out, which is kind of like, you know, you saw now where we just had that catalog come out that only had 26 transfers in it. It didn't have surfaces. It didn't have new paste colors. Um, that's really more the holidays because it's the Celebrations um, catalog. So that comes out and that has more Christmas and um, fall in it. However... I have a ginormous amount of Christmas transfers. <laughs> so if anybody wants Christmas transfers, I uh, may have overpurchased last year. So I do have a lot of, and I have a lot of the retired um, Christmas stuff. So I do have a lot of Christmas stuff. And I have some Halloween. So if you're looking for something specific, Carol, let me know. And I'd be more than happy to let you know if I have it or not. Plus, I am kind of waiting to see what new ones come out and what we're going to get. Um, I know, I can't wait either. I really can't wait. Um, although we're not through all of the transfers from the last catalog release. The two catalog releases, we're still not through all those transfers yet. Um, so I think this next time I'm probably not going to buy every transfer <laughs> because we don't seem to be able to get through them in the time allotted. But they're nice to have. So I am totally digressing. So I think that we should do our apple pie in fawn and then maybe do a couple little specks of bark, which is the brown, to kind of give it that like cinnamony look on the top of it. Um, I don't know. What do you think of that idea? If we just do the whole thing in fun and just put a couple of little brown specks, or will it look then like, you know, a burnt pie? <laughs> we don't want a burnt pie because he doesn't burn his pies. He makes good pie. I know Lisa Chalk Con. I'm telling you, I cannot get here soon enough. Everybody is so excited. They're starting to post itineraries and all the fun stuff that we're going to do. And then I heard today about how I have to, I have to bring a whole suitcase, an empty suitcase of stuff just to, uh, brings the stuff home that we're going to make. I just, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Carol says, do you have that really cool one that you etched on the window? Oh, hmm. the Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. That's an E size transfer and it is retired and I do not have it. Um, I have the one I've used. So Carol, you'd be more than welcome to come over and make it. Um, if you just looking for one sign of it, then you don't have to buy the transfer because it, you can't get it anymore. And you're local, so you're more than welcome to come over and make one. Um, but I don't have one to sell, unfortunately. And that is a, it is a stunning, stunning transfer. Now, some of them they pause and they bring back. So I don't know 
I'll have to look at the list. I don't think I, they retired that one, but then they come out with new ones. So that's the thing. The retired transfers are awesome because you see them all over, and you see if you you know if you go on Pinterest or you you know go on Facebook, there's lots of pictures of retired transfers. Um, but they always come out with something cool and new to replace it. So I don't try to get too hung up on the retired ones because the new ones are usually just as good, if not better. So do you have fawn with a touch of brown added to make a more crest color? We could make our own color, Verge. We could, and maybe that's not a bad idea. It's just kind of darkening up the fawn a little bit. I'm looking for a container that I can stir up chalk in. And of course, I put all of them away, because why wouldn't I put them away? That's just what Maria does. It puts those things away. So we're gonna we'll, we'll mix up our color right on my my board here. That's what this little area right here is for. We can make our own color unless I can find one. So anyway, so I think we'll make a darker color for our crust. Our apple pie probably should be red, right? Um, for a red delicious apple. So we could do that in candy apple, which is the name of the color, right? Do it in oops. Do it in candy apple, um, and then made with love. What do you think? Great idea, Verge. I agree, Jennifer. Verge has, you all have such amazingly wonderful, good ideas. If I could find a darn thing to stir up paste in. Because all of a sudden, come here, bun. Don't clean out your craft room is really the moral to the story, ladies. Okay, I got nothing. We'll have to do it on here. All right, so, oh, we got to buff our board. Okay, so it's been sitting long enough. I've been yapping long enough. Um, so you take your, like a, a part of your rag that doesn't have wax on it, and you buff. That's all you do. It's not complicated. It's not hard. Um, you're just basically getting off the extra. Plus a little bit of the friction, you know, kind of soaks it in a little bit better. I mix a little buttermilk in and then when making color that looks like pie crust. Buttermilk? The yellow, Lisa? You think I should add some yellow? I don't, I'm not a mixologist, so I don't know that much about mixing colors. But would yellow give me the color I want? We can try it, totally try it. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, so I've buffed off my excess wax. My board is ready. Once we get going, this transfer will go very quickly. There's really not much to it. Okay, we'll try it, Lise. So, this would be a lot easier if I had a little container. Let me take one more look. To see what I got to mix chalk in. Ah! Okay, try that. It's a little dirty, though. And I don't know if I want to mix whatever's in there into my chalk. Here, we'll try this. This is like a little container. <laughs> just, yeah, there's just something in here. It's like dried up paint. I don't want to get that in my... All right, so I am going to... Hey, Debbie, welcome to our chalking party. Yes, I would see a little yellow in there. Yes, fawn is more like an uncooked dough color. Right, It you got to add something to it. It is like totally uncooked dough. It actually looks a little bit like um, sugar cookie dough to me. So you say buttermilk, huh, Lise? All right, we're gonna add a little buttermilk and see what happens. And if that doesn't work, we'll add fawn, or we'll add bark. Hmm. Just a little bit. Let's see. Ooh. So I'm just adding in my fawn, my, ooh. Go Lisa. So it is, obviously a little, I wouldn't say it's yellow. So this is our fawn, and this is it with a little buttermilk. I'm probably gonna need more than that, more than this. I don't know, what do you think of this color, ladies? It's kinda yellow. Oop, wrong way, sorry. I'm gonna have to make more anyway. Should I add a, like a touch of brown? 
gonna add a little more glue on because I'm gonna need that's a big pie. We're gonna need a lot of chunk. So I'm just stirring it away. Maybe that was too much yellow. Okay, so this is the color we've got. Add a little brown maybe. I think we're gonna just try a little, just a little tiny bit of brown. Not much. Add a little more fawn. Just add, yep, yeah, add a touch of brown, okay. See what brown gives us. Uh, it just made us go back to fawn. A little just a pinch. All right, ladies, take a look at this color. I mean, it's definitely not. So this is fawn. So, you know, obviously this is more, this is just an off-white. And now we've got, I hope you can see that. It's, it's, a, it's definitely better. It looks more like a cooked, but it's just not quite dark enough. To me, a uh, hido is a little bit darker. I've also done hot mess like this and mixed with finger on the transfer because you can always wash it off. Yes, I could do that. What do you think about the idea of doing it in this color, the whole thing, and then just, you know, like you would sprinkle cinnamon on top of it, just do a couple little, you know, little dots of brown um, so that it looks like cinnamon. That was kind of what I was thinking. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, we'll wash it off. We'll see what you ladies think. Right? Because once, I mean, this is a fast project. <laughs> Don't you laugh every single time I say that? Everything else, oh, and I'm looking for my, my hangers. I want to make sure that I'm at the top of my board. This is a big transfer. So, and it's the first time it's being used, and it's going on an inexpensive, um, oh, you're, that is true, Lisa. It's not going to, not, it's not a universal color. You are right. So this is an inexpensive chalkboard. It's a brand new transfer. I'm fuzzing. And I got like chunks of chalk all in my. Okay, so I'm going to take my towel, take my transfer. I'm going to write on the back of it, apple pie. So you can totally mix your own colors. The only thing you can't do is you can't mix ink with chalk because they're completely different formulas and they work completely differently. Don't stick it to, oh, Lisa, are you jinxing me? Lisa says don't stick it to itself. Uh, because, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> Lisa knows, I have a reputation, right? I am not going to stick it to itself. I'm going to be a good girl. Um, so we were, it, it's funny that I said you're jinxing me because my kids and I were just having this conversation about rain. Ella's baseball game got canceled this week because of rain. And we were driving in the car and it wasn't raining yet and she didn't want it to get canceled. And she kept saying, you're jinxing me, you're jinxing me. And I'm like, I really have no control over the weather. <laughs> There's no way for me to jinx you. <laughs> it's either going to rain or it's not going to rain. I have nothing to do with it. Lisa says, I have anxiety about this after sticking an E on the first try. What, what transfer did you stick together, Lisa? Um, this is an E, but it's cut in half. So it's really more like a C size transfer. So what Lisa and I are talking about is transfers come in sizes, A, B, C, D, and E. E is the biggest size transfer. It's also the most expensive transfer. An E size transfer is $39.99. And um, they're very challenging when you don't, when you, they're not very challenging, but you have to very consciously think about it when you're doing the entire transfer and there's no cutting. There's only one transfer that's an E size that I've ever done that I've not cut. And that's the uh, when you plant a garden one. There's no way to cut that one. Every other e-transfer I have, I've cut in pieces, which makes it much more manageable. The garden in about six places. The garden is the most, that's the one I'm talking about. That's the only one you can't cut. Um, and it is big. Did you put holes in it then? Had to help, help unsticking. So when your back of your transfer sticks together, so what Lisa and I are talking about is when you have a big transfer and you have the back, it's all sticky, right? It's brand new. It's super sticky. 
you do not want the back to touch itself because if it touches itself, you risk it sticking. And when you go to pull it apart, what happens is you put holes in your transfer. Um, and then you basically ruin your transfer if it puts holes in it. Um, and that's the one you stuck. But I cut it in half so it's like a C. Yes, Jennifer, you are correct. I did cut it in half so it's more like a C. Um, no holes. You are to you were totally saved, Lisa. I've not I have not ruined an E transfer. I've ruined D's and C's by having the back stick. Okay, so we're gonna stick our pretty little apple pie. Oh, this is just a look how pretty this little transfer is. We're just gonna do apple pie and we're gonna do made with love, which is really kinda too small, right? Kinda looks dopey down there. We could put made with love up over it. That would kind of solve the whole what color should I make the crust if I put another color over it. <laughs> what do you think? Should we put Made With Love over it? It just, it's so tiny. I mean, we could do the whole thing, Made With Love Fresh Daily, but that kind of, or we could put um, some of the other pieces in here. Um, we could put some apples. We could do Made With Love and an apple on each side. Um... We could put cinnamon and an apple. I just was really kind of going for simplicity because he's a, he's a simple kind of guy. But it, it just doesn't look proportionate to me. So do you think I need the fresh daily? Or do you think I should just stop? Because this is really him. He's not making apple pie every day. So if you guys can vote on that, I'm going to get rid of my air while you vote. So I'm just pushing the air out of my transfer. I'm not using the whole, I'm not using the, the wings or banners, <laughs> as Jennifer so politely corrected me on what they're really called. Um, so I'm not worried about it. Sticking those down. Okay, so this is kind of growing on me as a color. So we're going to try it. Oh, wait. Think through your colors and know exactly what you're doing before you do it. So I need to get my red ready. Because you would make this red, right? Apple pie. Because apples are red delicious apples. But maybe I should use currant jam instead of candy apple. Currant jam is a super pretty color. It's one of my very favorites. Currant jam is more of a whiny red than a candy apple. I like it. It's like a little love note. Thanks, Carol. It is like a little love note. So, Jennifer, add the saying, add fresh daily. Because no matter what I'm doing, made with love. The question is, do I need fresh daily? I kind of like it on top of the pie, Verge says. I kind of like it on top of the pie, too. And so, current jam. So, as since we're talking about holiday transfers, you guys must all be thinking about holiday transfers. I've had more questions in the last week about holiday transfers than I've had since last holiday. So there's two colors last year that came out that were really the, the reds for the season. And one of them is Currant Jam, which is kind of a whiny red, more of a maroon, I would say. And then, obviously, the Candy Apple Red. The Currant Jam is a color, so it came in my kit when I joined the company. And I was like, ew, I don't like this color. I'm never going to use this color. And it ended up being the most popular color I used um, because it's so pretty. And it looks amazing with Garden Herb. So last year for the holidays, Garden Herb and Current Jam were kind of that more, not bright, uh, not childish, but, you know, traditional Christmas colors. This was more, I would say, of a sophisticated, muted um, color palette. Made with love. No fresh daily. Okay, thank you guys. Over the pie or on the bottom? Over the pie? On the bottom. No, do current jam. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do current jam just because it's more muted. Candy apple is just your bright kind of traditional red color, but I like current jam better. So I'm just going to simply, I'm going to chalk my red and I'm going to pull it. So chalking and pulling is a trick that you can use when you do a big transfer so that you don't get stuck in this, oh my gosh, my chalk is going to dry. I'm, it's going to pull up. I'm going to have gone through all this work and I'm going to ruin what I was doing. So pulling is a technique that you can use that allows you time. Um, and it's a very nice way to just give yourself a little uh, breathing room. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I've, I've got my current jam on here. Carol says bottom. 
warm fall colors. Thank you, Jennifer. That it. It's they're warm fall colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it. See, just like that. And I'm gonna hold this. I don't want to set this down on top of the pie on this. I don't want to set it down because it has chalk on it, and it will put that chalk on my silk screen, and then it will. Uh, go through the color so I just hold it up until this dries a little bit and I do give it a little bit of help when you give it a little help turn your heat away from your transfer because if I go this way I'm gonna burn a hole in my transfer so I just give it a little dry just because I don't want it to smear when I lay it back down a lot of people don't do this they just lay it back down I've kind of had hit or miss luck with it as to whether or not it you know, schmears or not. So I'd like to dry it just a little bit just to get it, you know, less schmearable. I can't wait for you to come to Texas. I know. Debbie, I'm so there. <laughs> in my mind, I am there every day. <laughs> Chalking away in my PJs. Although I, I'm struggling. One of the night is formal. We have to be dressed like fancy formal. Formal, like long dresses formal, these ladies are wearing and bright colors. Okay, where's my flannel shirt? <laughs> I realize I don't need my flannel shirt in Texas, but it's in air conditioning, right? I'm gonna need something. That was Mason. Hi, Mason, how you doing? Oh, Mason can't wait for me to come to, Mason, I can't wait to meet you, little man. I hear so many fun things about you. Um, so I, and Mason, I don't know if you know this, but I have a little boy that's your age, pretty close to your age. I think you guys are the, pretty much the same age. And I think you guys would have a lot of fun together. Okay, so I'm just putting, I'm hoping I have enough paste. I'm pretty sure I do. Ah, I have enough paste. Um, I am going to try just a couple little brown dots. Not big, just little. Again, give us a little bit of uniformity. Or not uniformity, a little non-uniformity. That's what I'm talking about here. Just in the middle of my pie. So maybe it looks like little dots of cinnamon. Not a lot. <laughs> As I keep doing it, right? She keeps saying not a lot, but she keeps just putting all the brown down. But they're super light. So just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'd really like to figure out a way I could put sugar. You know, like the sprinkle sugar. I did think about maybe the silver, but it's silver. Okay, so I'm going to uh, squeegee. And hopefully I'm going to get, you know, some. Oop, I heard air. I was worried about that, that I hadn't smooshed it down enough. So hopefully I don't have a bleed. have enough paste. We're going to make it work. There we go. I've got enough. Okay, so hopefully it's going to look like a pie when we're done. I do not want to put this back in my paste container because it's actually a separate color. Mason, it's kind of late to be up. Are you sleeping over at Grandma's house, Mason? <laughs> she's spoiling you Mason okay so I'm gonna pull it up again and hopefully we look like a pie it does good call on the yellow oops I am getting chocolate over me I'm sticking my transfer in my water bath so that it gets the starting process of washing and it does it looks totally like a pie Oh, he's sleeping over at Grandma's. Oh my gosh, Mason, you are a lucky man. <laughs> I used to love sleeping over at my Grandma's house. Okay, so see, we've got the little, the specks of brown. I like the specks of brown because they do give it some dimension. So that's kind of a hot mess, but an intentional hot mess. So you can hot mess and put things, you know, in specific colors where you want them. Oops, and I'm seeing I got a little bit off. I did a little bit of that wing. I didn't want wings. So I'm just washing it off. Try and being careful not to get the other, you know, the pie, because that's still wet. Could you use crystal light glitter? Yes, Carol, you could. You could totally. You can do glitter when it's wet. So how you use glitter 
with your chalk is you chalk it down, you pull your transfer, and you pour glitter right away. And then you push the glitter down, and then um, you pull it. There's a couple of videos out there that we did with glitter. Um, as you all know, I'm not a glitter person um, because I can't. I love glitter, but I don't like it in my house because it, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Always. Um, so there's a video out there where we did uh, kind of like the Dorothy shoes. We did them in red glitter. But glitter on chalk is super easy and it's really pretty. The shimmers are nice. Oh, I don't want to put that away yet. We're going to use that again. Um, the shimmers are very nice, but they're not glitter. Glitter definitely has more uh, sparkle to it. So I would still, when I really wanted sparkly, I would use glitter. But I think that this looks pretty nice just the way it is. The other thing you could do is you could use like a little, you know, a little glue gun if you really had patience <laughs> and you wanted to do more like a crystal sugar. So you'd use a bigger glitter. So you could put little dots and you could totally do that with the glitter. Hey, Linda, welcome to our chalk and party. That's what I was thinking, Carol, for sugar. Yep. You could totally do that. Um, we could try it. I should have done it when it was wet. So now we're just going to do made with love on the bottom. So the story with my husband and apple pie, because it is kind of odd that, you know, uh, a man would <laughs> be known for his apple pie. But my husband's mother, oh my God, that woman, she was a saint. She was an absolute saint, that woman. Loved her to death. Um, apple pie was one of her things. She made amazing, amazing, well, she made amazing everything. For those of you that knew her, um, you've all eaten her food and she was Truly, that woman could bake, holy cow. So when she passed away, my husband was very concerned because I'm not a baker. I love to cook, but baking isn't so much my thing. And my mother never really made pie. So he was concerned that she wouldn't, that skill of her, his, her grandmother's pie, she would never know how to do. So he had his sister teach him how to make apple pie like his mother did so he could teach his daughter. That's sweet. So I really think this should be from her for Father's Day. Really it should be from all of them because they all love his pie. Okay this is cute ladies. So we got apple pie and made with love. I'll, I'll hold it up the other way. Well here let's do this. Let's give you just the pie. Get rid of me. Look at how cute that is. Apple pie made with love. This is adorable. He's going to love this. He's absolutely going to love it. I hope he's going to love it. Um, so yeah, that's his story about apple pie. So he has practiced. And sometimes his crust is too thick. And one time <laughs> he put cumin, cumin, cumin in it instead of cinnamon. And we kept eating this pie, and we're like, you know, it just doesn't taste right. It just tastes a little bit different. It wasn't bad. It just, you know, it's a Mexican, you know, like you put in tacos. <laughs> he's never lived that one down. Um, that was a long time ago. Since then, he's learned to check and make sure he has the cinnamon in his hand, not the cumin. Because believe it or not, my spices are alphabetized. <laughs> it's a sickness, ladies. Um, perfect, nothing else needed. Okay, so you, I don't, yeah, I don't think... It's pretty traditional the way it is. I don't think it needs the sugar. Um, if I had done like maybe a fancier frame, I would do the glitter. But I think he will love it for Father's Day. It's like the perfect little gift. Ladies, we did this in 40 minutes. Ha! Total score. I'm trying to make my video shorter. Because of how much I very much appreciate the fact that you guys hang out with me this long. But I realize you all have a life. You might want to go to bed. He will love it especially because of the sentimentality. Yeah, my husband's very sentimental. Very, hey, Melissa. Welcome from Canada. Although you should be sleeping. It's late there. Um, he'll love it. I agree, Virg. I think he will love it. I do, I do. He's an amazing man. He does a lot for his children to make sure that they have the experiences that he thinks that they should have. So He's a good one. He's a keeper. We will keep him <laughs> today. <laughs> Tomorrow, who knows? <laughs> you never know.
never quite know what's up his sleeve. Hmm. All right, so I'm just closing up my chocks. I'm cleaning up. I do put a layer, if I could get this to open, or spray. I do put a layer of water on top of my chocks, and I do that because, especially bark, I don't use it as often, although lately we've been using it. Um, and that way the water just kind of gives it a little barrier between the air so that they don't dry out as quickly. Jennifer says, I'm a night owl. Keep me up all night if you want. I don't mind. <laughs> Jennifer, I am as well. But I have got to start going to bed earlier. Because last night I didn't go to bed until 1.30 and I had to be up at 6 o'clock this morning to go to orientation. So I'm a little tired. But Normally I don't get up that early. I'm not a big fan of mornings. But I very much like nighttime. Okay, so this is the apple pie transfer. And I think it's... I like the whole transfer, and I think you could do a lot with this transfer. It's got a lot of nice pieces to it. Um, this, I was making, if I was making it for someone other than my husband, which, which, you know, maybe more of a little female twist to it, then I'd have done the whole thing. But I don't really think that this is her recipe, because I don't think he puts cornstarch. So it has an actual, we should make this recipe and see if it actually makes chocolate, or makes apple pie. But there's no, now that's interesting. There's no crust in the recipe. It's just the pie. It's the brown sugar salt. No. I guess I've never read the recipe before. So it assumes you know how to make your dough. And that's what he's so good at is the dough. Okay, so ladies, I'm rambling. But thank you so much for uh, watching me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Tomorrow is Saturday and I don't normally do a video on Saturday. Um, if I do a video on Saturday, it's just because I have time and I don't believe we're going to be home tomorrow. So there probably won't be a video, but you never know. Sometimes I say that and then the next thing, you know, I'm making a video. <laughs> Sunday's Father's Day. I'll still probably make one because by the time I make videos, kids are in bed. So I'm rambling still. Shocking. If you can do this, I very greatly much appreciate it. I can see some of you have done that already. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always, always appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to go through the normal spiel tonight, ladies. We're going to end early. Thank you for watching me. I will see you all soon. Um, I'm making Maria. Dorothy was awesome. Oh, Jan. You got the pr privilege of knowing her longer than I did. I'm jealous. Dorothy was awesome. She was just a saint, that woman. She had 12 kids, ladies. She walked to church every day. She had to walk to church every day. <laughs> she probably wanted to kill those kids. <laughs> All 12 of them. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. No way. No, I can't. I can hardly handle four. I'm rambling. I really need to hit the good night button. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Have a good night. I'm making Maria, your independent chocolate designer. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely night. See ya.